Hey guys, welcome to another set of video game nights. We're going to be playing a bit of a retro today. It's just me, just VGK Sully for today. Um, we haven't recorded a video for a while, so this will be interesting. Uh, we're going to start with Super Mario World. First game I ever played. I'm just going to do the first world. Just give it a quick go. Should be a bit of a breeze, to be honest. I feel like with the Super Nintendo games on the Switch, everybody begged for them for ages and then nobody bothers with them now. But I suppose they haven't really added many since they put the service on. I do absolutely love this game. I can breathe, breathe through the first world like nobody's business because I played it so much as a child. No. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, we haven't been able to record any videos recently because just time constraints. We both live adult lives. We don't get to see each other enough as it is anyway. We'll try and get back onto it. The Twitter's still really active, so can follow us on uh, official VGK on Twitter. We'll post a link at the end of the video in the description of the video, as we do all the time. So we upload quite a lot of screenshots and videos and opinions on video games. Mainly Switch at the moment. But we, we do play PS4 and a little bit of Xbox as well. So this first level done, let's breeze through this. I love doing these and just collecting all the coins. I don't know if this is the best strategy, but it's the one I've always done. It seems like it, but I don't know. It's just fun. A few extra lives there. Never gets old for me this game. Never gets old. Twenty when did it come out? Ninety one. So almost thirty years old and it's still a classic. Right, let's go. We'll just get up to the castle, do the castle then and stop. We'll get Yosh. They just don't seem to make 2D Mario platformers like this anymore. It's all new Super Mario Brothers and it's just the same. There's just something special about this. I'm more of a world fan than free than Super Mario Brothers free fan. There we go, another level done. There's quite a nice collection of retro games on the Switch. You've got the Mega Man collections, the Super Nintendo and Nintendo Online, there's the Mega Drive collection, Castlevania collection, that's fantastic. I've not bought the Contra one yet because I never have the patience to get good at Contra. But it is a good little console for some uh, retro. I just wish that we'd get a bit of GBA on there. It always puzzled me how GBA never came to the 3DS other than the Ambassador games. Which I, I got because I got a 3DS day one, unfortunately at the time.
I'm hoping we do see a little bit more retro coming out on the Switch. It's always nice to go back to every now and again just for a bit of a nostalgia trip. We'll go this way. Been uh, knee deep into Dragon Quest 11, about 55 hours into that game. It's absolutely fantastic, one of the best RPGs I've ever played. It looks amazing, sounds amazing on the Switch. The story is really good. I know uh, Berg's playing um, Tokyo Mirage Sessions and he, he loves that. I'm looking forward to playing it. One. I was absolutely terrified of the music in this this level when I was a kid. <laughs> right, let's go. Let's get some extra lives as well. Oh, shy. Will he turn around? No. There's a couple of them that don't turn around. He does, I know that. Where's he gone? Oh, he's the spit. Oh, there he is. We'll just wait for him to come around. There we go. I don't think that... I think the ones that go side to side come around, the ones that go up and down don't. There we go. So any ones we hit now, we should get extra lives. Should get a fair few here. Lives now. Oh, I don't know why I forgot about that. There's something insane about playing these games on a 4K monitor. It's like, I could never have guessed what the technology would have been when this game originally came out. Well, this game originally came out before I was born. But to think, back in the PS1 era, we'd be playing games in football. And we never thought games would look better than that. I didn't. Oh, you're dead. I call that spot on Twitter. Much a little cutscene and then save it and then we'll change game. I don't understand why they haven't put the games that were on the Super Nintendo Classic on this. Like Earthbound, Street Fighter. I get some of them are owned by Capcom and Square, so they might want to make their own collections, but... And why not Chrono Trigger, love? Why is it always Final Fantasy VI? Oh, wrong button again. <laughs> What else have we got on here? Um, see, I play Super Punch Out, but I'm shy at it. Let's just go have a quick look at the Nintendo ones. If not, we'll go to Mega Drive and play a bit of Sonic or something. See, a lot of these games, I don't even know what they are. Let's 
play a few levels of Mario Bros. Jumping so weird in this. I used to, I played this a lot on the um, GBA when I was a kid because it was in every version of Super Mario Advance. Let's do a couple of levels of this. Oh shit. Very slippery controls. It's absolutely insane how far games have come. There we go. Second level. We'll do one more. It's kind of the same thing every time. Yeah, we'll do this test of skill. Test of skill. Which I'm assuming I won't have any. Oh, maybe. Yeah. Oof. That was close. game selection. We will do... we'll pick a random game now. Do it like bike. Never played this, obviously it's Japanese. Um, I don't know what the difference between original and versus is. I'm assuming versus two player. Uh, let's go intermediate. I don't know what the buttons are, but it's just A and B, isn't it? I think A makes you go slower. Oh shit. Yeah, it's, I, I've not really played many NES games. Oh shit. I'm assuming I'm doing that jump rubbish. So we did it out of time. There we go. Alright, we're going. Well, that didn't go very well. <laughs> oh yeah, came last. Oh, great. Let's not retry really that, fuck that. Um, let's try Journey to Silius, it looks interesting. Got no idea what the game's about. No, let's, let's just play. Right, so A and B, shoot. Okay, this is kind of cool. Seems like your standard shooter. It's kind of Mega Man ish. So you can crouch and this thing's fucking pissing me off. There we go. Piss off. Oh shit, I need to get a thing on the floor. I'm gonna die. Uh. There we go. I'm gonna change my weapon. Oh, shotgun. Nice. <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh, let's use the rewind. There we go. Let's use it again, one more time. Shh, 
Jesus Christ, okay. Fuck that. We're okay at video games. VGK bar is okay at video games. See, there's some good games on the NES, but it's still a bit too old for me. It's aged a bit. I didn't grow up with it. I grew up with Super Nintendo, Mega Drive, PlayStation. GBA. You can punch me. No? Right, he's gonna punch me now. Yeah. Oh, I can't remember how to get the star. Right, get not down. Oh shit. <laughs> Punch him while he's like glowing. Oh, there we go. Oh, shit. I don't know how I did that. Oh, he's down. Never noticed it. Your gloves and shorts go white when Mario comes out. Is that because it can't put that many colors on screen? A glitch. Right, let's fuck him up. We'll do this and then we'll have a look at the Mega Drive collection and see what's on there. See ya. Stay down. I'm bored of you now. Piss it off. Are you fuck? Alright, stay down. Stay down. Jesus Christ. TKO. Thank you. Yeah, you go stay white when Mario's out. Don't know why. No, because we're going to play this. Just do like, maybe a bit of Streets of Rage, maybe a bit of Sonic. I won't do another 10 minutes. Right, come on. Sega. I wish M2 would do more Saturn and Dreamcast for the Sega Ages collection. I love those. Right, let's do first level Sonic 2. Do Emerald Hill. Sega. I wish it was widescreen like Sonic Mania. Widescreen makes it so much easier. Oh, here we go. Looks 
stunning this game still, it's like it's so colourful. I think the 8-bit generation's aged quite badly, but the 16-bit generation still looks really nice. When it's done right, actually, when it's done right. Right, first level done. We should do the boss and then play another game because I kind of hate Chemical Plant. It was cool in Mania I had the Mean Bean Machine boss, but. I'm sure you're supposed to hit that monkey. I need a ring. Give me a ring, please. Thank you. I don't know what that glitching is at the bottom of the screen. Is that this collection? Or is it like. It's a different aspect ratio or something. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> really? Come on. I only ever finished this game once and it was on the 3DS. I used a lot of save state, so I'm not ashamed to say it. I love the background with the water and the island. I wish. I don't know why the collections like this never include the Knuckles, like Sonic 2 and Knuckles. I love playing as Knuckles. It's always just Sonic 1, Sonic 2. You never get Sonic 3 either. <laughs> I love making it sound at the end. Right. Let's do... Let's do the first level of Dynamite Heady. I had this game as a kid and it... It's so unique. I, I never heard anybody talk about it when I was a kid, other than when I had it. It's a fantastic game. You can tell it's a treasure game because there's so much shite going on. The first level is like an auto runner, and you can kill this thing for like an extra point, extra like skill point or something, which I never knew as a kid. You basically, just stand underneath it, and hopefully, it'll get destroyed before it steals all your mates. Come on. I get fault. The music's cool as well. Let's play some classics on the Mega Drive. so hard to avoid shit. I think I'm gonna hit it twice. It's hard to avoid them fucking ball things. Yeah, you won't get hit twice. Of them, secret point. Oh, 
Well, have a quick look at the second level and then we'll call it. Yes. Got all these freaks. Do you have practice? It just teaches you how to play the game, like the different aspects. So you have this guy, you get different abilities. So you can get like a hammer, the invisible. This oh that that generates like a shield around you. Yep. That one that makes you hit a bomb. Destroys everything on the screen. Is that one that makes you hit like a hammer? Oh, I've got a hammer again, I want a different one. I've got this one, it's like, it just shoots all the shit out of your head. And there's this one, turns your head into a hoover. Here we go. You can press A to like, get rid of it. Next, the second one's like something where you use like grappling hook kind of thing. Oh, it's just telling you you can point in eight directions, I think. There we go. Okay, we've got to do it for 60 seconds. Target. Target. Jeez. I wish I could quit this. I'm trying. Sure I've got in here now. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, we're fucking right up now. Yeah, fuck this now. I'm over it. It's alright, bitch, keep pointing them out. See ya. We'll quick look at this level and then. So that was what the other one was. Like grappling hook. It's cool actually. It's a cool concept. Very unique. Throw that tower. We'll go this way. Ah. Um. That was makes runs. Yeah, it makes runs really fast, and you can jump up shot. Look at them creepy eyes there. Another box, but we'll, we'll call it now. Alright, guys, that was the first episode of Video Game Nights in a very, very long time. Hope you enjoyed it. Might do a bit few more. Hopefully, with Burger soon. Alright, catch you later.